Hi everyone, welcome back to DTW 2021, the Cube's continuous coverage of Dell Technologies World, the virtual edition. My name is Dave Vellante and I've been watching the ebb and flow and transformation of cloud strategies from on-prem suppliers for a number of years. And it started with an aspiration to compete with their own public clouds. And over time it became clear that customers wanted them to focus rather on their enduring foundational platforms and evolve those to bring cloud-like experiences along with simplicity and agility and flexibility to the data center. And there's no more prominent example than VMware Cloud. We've shared the data with you all as part of our breaking analysis. Customers are leaning in, they're placing bets and the spending on these platforms is rising. And with me to talk about this are two CUBE alums, Fidelma Russo, Senior Vice President and GM of Cloud Services Unit at VMware and Travis Vigil, who's the Senior Vice President of Product Management at Dell Technologies. Folks, welcome back to theCUBE. Great to see you again. Good to see you, Dave. Nice being here, Dave. So Fidelma, let's start with you. We've been seeing the rise of VMware Cloud and we see it in our ETR survey data that VMware's cloud offerings, as well as Dell's, Travis, have, have some of the highest momentum within your respective company portfolios when it comes to relative customer spend. So customers are voting with their wallets. Fidelma, what's the update? What do we need to know about VMware Cloud? So as, as you saw, Dave, you know, we just did a big announcement at the end of March on VMware Cloud being our multi-cloud platform. Um, we truly believe that, um, you know, this is what customers want. They want a consistent experience, not just on the public cloud, but also on-prem. And uh, we, you know, we're delivering that experience across uh, a multitude of platforms. Um, with that, you know, our, our relationship with Dell Technologies goes very deep. Uh, we've seen uh, a big uptake in the data center where uh, customers want a cloud operating model. Um, that is just like being in the public cloud, but because of things like latency, compliance, um, data sovereignty, uh, you know, there are really those applications patients that uh, need to remain on-prem and that's where VMC on Dell EMC comes into play. Great, thank you, Fidelma. Now, now, Travis, we've had this scenario out there where we had to pivot, of course, to remote work. Uh, and now we're sort of forecasting that you spend, well, clearly we're seeing spending coming back, but there's this sort of dual strategy where people have to invest in hybrid, uh, hybrid work me meaning, and they also have to invest in the data center because it's kind of been neglected <laughs> over the last year. So, and, but the problem is that there's a staff, you know, shortage, there's a, there's a skills gap. And so people are sort of leaning more into managed services. They're definitely looking at OpEx models because it gives them more flexibility. So that's more important to organizations. What is VMware Cloud on Dell EMC and, and how does it address those needs? Yeah, Dave, I, I think you're spot on. Um, and VMware Cloud on Dell, on Dell EMC is uh, a joint solution from VMware and Dell to provide infrastructure as a service delivered and deployed on-premises. And that on-premises could be a data center, it could be a co-location facility, it could be an edge location. And the great thing about it as you pointed out, is that customers don't have to worry about managing the infrastructure because it's managed for them. And if you look at the, the offering overall, uh, it has VMware software defined data center stack uh, with compute storage and networking coming from Dell, comes with flexible billing options. And uh, Fidelma talked a little bit about uh, some of the workloads that, that are staying on on-prem, whether that be for data sovereignty or compliance or performance or latency or any of the, the other issue, uh, the other uh, deciding factors that Fidelma, to, to Fidelma mentioned. Um, but the other great thing about this solution and, and, and to your point is that it helps customers that are in this hybrid world, both develop and run both traditional and cloud native applications on a single unified infrastructure. So we're seeing a a ton of momentum, a ton of interest in in this uh, in this solution and solutions like it. I mean, Fidelma, it's 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 actually kind of scary. I mean, it's like the entire tech business is now just everything's growing. Uh, I mean, whether it's on-prem, uh, laptops, you know, new security solutions, you know, to to crypto. I mean, it's just crazy right now. But but the data center is on fire. Uh, you see the chip shortage. You see all kinds of investments going on. Um, and, and organizations, as you've pointed out, they want a hybrid solution. 
what are the workloads or use cases that are the best fit for on-premises and can benefit the most from this cloud service that you guys offer? Where are your customers finding success? So where we found success, you know, and, and not surprisingly, um, regulated industries and industries where uh, privacy and security are paramount. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about healthcare and what we've seen on BMC on Dell EMC. Um, there we've seen it deployed, uh, uh, you know, on-prem uh, to provide uh, online access to clinical records via VDI and also uh, access uh, to analytics, um, you know, from out at uh, clinicians, um, you know, out of, out of remote centers where the clinicians work. So, so that's one aspect. Another aspect is in energy, uh, where we've seen uh, deployments uh, happen and happen, not just in the data center, but also out at the, what I would call the fat edge. Um, and so, um, you know, so, so, so not un unlike what you would think uh, as we move forward here. And, and what I would say is there, there is a thread that's common amongst customers, um, you know, in, in areas where they have maybe a very mobile workforce. Um, COVID, I think, has played into actually, um, you know, not just accelerating to the public cloud, but also accelerating the need uh, to have this uh, remote operation of data center uh, infrastructure on-prem. So, so as you said, both on fire and um, we're seeing the uptake especially within a regulated and compliant uh, industry verticals. Great, thank you. So Travis, of course, we all saw the news a couple of weeks ago and it was no surprise, yeah. Dell spinning out you know, VMware. And as part of that, there's uh, a, a special commercial agreement associated with, with, with that spin out. But I wonder if you could tell us, what does this joint offer? In, how does it inform us about the future of VMware and, and Dell technologies? Fidelma mentioned it's obviously a great channel, Dell that is, sells a lot of VMware technology. Um, so what should we, how should we think about this relationship going forward and, and what's the next phase of this partnership going to look like? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know uh, an easier way to say it than VMware is a key strategic partner for Dell. And uh, you know, this relationship uh, enables us to deliver unmatched value to current and future customers on a continuous basis. And if you look over the, you know, the last couple of years that the collaboration across Dell and, and VMware has never been stronger. Um, we have shown our ability to partner very, very effectively on things like VxRail. And so if you look at, you know, what we're doing with VMware cloud on Dell AMC, it's really about radically simplifying customers' IT experiences so that they can focus on business outcomes. And uh, we have teams here at Dell uh, Technologies, we have teams at VMware, they're hard at work at you know, taking this offer and uh, scaling it in the market. And we're also uh, working at a on a longer term uh, integration of VMware Cloud on Dell EMC within, within, within Apex which is really going to further simplify the experience for our joint customers. So, I mean, I think uh, the easiest way to say it is that we're, we're, we're both committed to delivering the best enterprise class infrastructure services um, to our joint customers, including hardware and software integrated together. And, you know, I think this is just the start of many good things to come. Well, it makes sense. I mean, you guys have obviously developed muscle memory over the years, you, you know, it's like, for years at EMC prior and, and obviously Dell, you kind of wanted to hang on. It was sort of tethered to, to VMware, but the time is right for that for a lot of reasons. But I wonder, Travis, how do you see sort of VMware cloud on Dell EMC, particularly you mentioned Apex. Uh, there's Apex, you have Apex hybrid cloud that, that, that you've announced at Dell Tech World and, and Apex private cloud. How, how, does, how do you see that fitting in? Yeah, it, it's all part of a, you know, a portfolio of solutions that we have for our customers. Dell Technologies, uh, you've uh, worked with for us for a long time, Dave, and we always strive to provide the best solutions for our customers to match their needs. And so if a customer determines that they require a vendor managed cloud service, they want that si single invoice billing, um, you know, that, that completely managed solution for them, uh, the best offering is is obviously VMware Cloud on Dell EMC. Um, if a customer determines that they, you know, they have the IT resources to manage the infrastructure, they want the flexibility to add uh, and manage services later, Apex Hybrid Cloud or Private Cloud is the best solution. 
But the great news is that all of these solutions um, uh, showcase uh, the partnership between Dell and VMware as all of them have a, a major VMware component, showca showcases our joint solutioning and all of them are uh, available today via Dell. And so, you know, the only thing I can say is uh, there's more to come in the future. So stay tuned for exciting announcements uh, in the not too distant, uh, in, in the not too distant future. Yeah, well, well, for now, the, 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 the great thing about you know, VMware and Dell is you, 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 you were in it, you got VMware. A lot of people, you know, look back and say, wow, I, I, we could have had that for 635 million or whatever it was. And, <laughs> and now it's just amazing to see how that, the, the transformation has occurred. Um, and, and I'll tell you how, how I see it. I mean, you've got this huge opportunity. You, you call it core to cloud to edge. Uh, I just see this abstraction layer that, that can be built out. And it, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, the, the next 10 years of cloud aren't going to look like the last 10, 10 years of cloud. So I'm wondering, you, you and you have, but you have relationships with the public cloud players. You got a special relationship with 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 AWS, obviously, you've got IBM, Microsoft, et cetera, et cetera. How do you see VMware Cloud on Dell EMC relative to the offerings that you have with other hyperscalers with the public cloud? So we, we think it's a it's a very important complement, um, and so. Um, you know, I, I think we've been around this industry long enough to know that uh, there's never one size fits all. Um, and that uh, I think we're just coming into the next innings in uh, in cloud, as you said, the next 10 years won't be like the last 10 years. Uh, VMC on Dell EMC is the perfect complement to other VMC um, offerings on top of the public cloud. And so, you know, so most customers end up with, um, you know, they will have public cloud, uh, you know, uh, for some applications native, they will have public cloud with uh, VMware on it. Um, and then they will have the need to have something either in their data center or at a colo. Um, and for their VMC on Dell EMC is the only heterogeneous one uh, that can operate uh, with all of the VMware options on the public cloud. So, so we, we think this is a really important play for us and our customers um, and, and dovetails nicely into our portfolio. You know, we got a little bit of time left. I wonder if I get your opinion on this. I mean, I think that obviously the public cloud is growing faster than the, the, the on-prem piece of it, but the on-prem piece is so much larger. So just a few percentage point growth in the on-prem can mean so much more <laughs> uh, revenue and value. And I think people forget about that sometimes. And I think the other thing is, I think for years people misunderstood that, oh, it's like, it, it, it's not a zero sum game, I guess is what I'm saying. And, and, and my point there is, if I'm you guys, I'm like, well, thank you public cloud guys for spending tens of billions of dollars a year. It's like building the internet. Thank you for that. Now we can build on top of it. And that's where I see the, re the next 10 years, the real innovation that you guys can bring. The public cloud guys, you know, maybe they're going to try to dabble in that, but I, I, I'm not sure I, I, I trust them to run my whole estate. Um, if I'm a big Dell customer, I want to know, okay, what are you guys going to do for me in VMware? What are you going to do for me in terms of expanding? And that seems to be the direction that you're going. Like Fidel, you said it's early innings. That whole idea of abstracting all that underlying complexity away, it just seems to me a, a huge opportunity for you and your customers. Yeah, we agree. I mean, even if you think about, you know, you, you made a very important point. Um, you know, it, it's not a zero sum game. Applications and workloads are growing. Uh, they're being driven by the development of modern applications on top of container technology. And so with our Tanzu technology from VMware, you know, deployed across multiple cloud endpoints, you know, we give you a lot of choice in where you want to develop uh, those applications. Um, you'll see us uh, embedding it in many of our offerings, including VMC on Dell EMC. Um, and we're seeing a huge uptake on interest within the data center customers and within uh, to start to develop modern applications on-prem. And so, as you said, it's not a zero sum game and a few percentage points in, uh, in you know, an uptick in data center will, will be good for everybody. Travis, you want to add? Yeah, I, I think that's right, Fidel. And I think the other thing is, um, you know, Dell and VMware have been doing on-premises deployments for a long time. And uh, if you look at some of the, the core strengths that, that Dell has in terms of something, you know, 
as critical as, as supply chain or services reach or the, you know, what I call the ability to service tens of thousands of customers at moderate to large scale. That's, you know, that's something that uh, some of the alternative uh, providers don't have. And so the more, and Fidel and I have talked about this a lot, the more that, that Dell and VMware can, can collaborate on these solutions, I think uh, the, the stronger hand that we're going to have going forward. Yeah, on-prem and, and complexity, frankly, that's your, your, that's your home court. And <laughs> so uh, yeah. it's going to be really interesting to watch. Guys, great to see you again. Thanks so much for coming back in theCUBE. An, an awesome conversation, really appreciate it. And, and best of luck to you both. Thank hey, you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. All right, and thank you for watching you. everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE, our continuing coverage of Dell Technologies World 2021, the virtual edition, we'll be right back.